Hey guys, in this video, we are comparing the new OBS Studio 27.2 beta to the older 27.13 stable. Uh, despite a very small version change, 27.1 and 0.2, uh, there's a substantial, huge, humongous change under the hood to uh, OBS Studio in this version update. It impacts PC users primarily, but the, uh, the PC version of OBS previously was using Chromium version 75. And that's a, that's years out of date at this point. And it, it was also kind of like a, a more buggy version of Chromium. Uh, we now have a new version of Chromium introduced with 27.2. This is version 95. So 75 to 95, uh, that's almost the most recent version of Chromium. So that's really exciting as well. And it's a great version because it has unlocked a ton of cool functionality as well. So it's just a huge deal for Video Ninja development and the future of Video Ninja. And it solves a lot of uh, long-standing bugs that Video Ninja users have been having when using OBS on PC. And that's primarily the dreaded rainbow puke problem. And that is when you have streaming video coming in and all of a sudden it goes all garbly. Uh, that's, uh, that tends to happen because there's packet loss, the video stream loses data and the version of OBS that, uh, the version of Chromium in OBS was configured in a way and is using old code that just didn't handle packet loss properly. And so it would uh, not, not recover. And video is, in, is compressed. So if you lose any data, uh, that compression kind of uh, persists for, for quite a while. Uh, there was a, a few fixes I put out. There was a rainbow puke fix button that issues a new keyframe that cleans up the issue. Uh, there was also the Electron Capture app and the Vingester app uh, that you can use as, as alternatives. And it also wasn't an issue uh, for Mac users and Linux users. Uh, Mac, Mac users two years ago didn't even have Video Ninja support at all. Uh, but a year ago or so, they got uh, that, that resolved. And so for Mac users, it's been pretty stable for the last year. But for PC users, not so much. Anyways, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the, the two competitors, <laughs> not, I guess not competitors, but um, 27.2 beta and 27.1.3, uh, the old version. Okay. The way this is going to work, I'm going to load a video from Video Ninja into both the browsers, into both OBS studios, and then jam packet loss on the my network connection. Okay. So I'll move OBS over there. Okay. Uh, create a scene. Let's say, um, let's say the OBS virtual camera. I'll start it. You know, let's actually use my own source. Uh, we then will go over to this guy and say browser capture audio and let's uh there we go and then we'll go over to this one do the same concept i actually just copy that no, i can't uh, browser Put this in 1920. Okay, I'll just mute the browsers just to be safe. Okay, uh, boom. Now we have the two videos loaded. So, uh, 27 point, um, 20, this is the old version 27.1.3, and this is the new version 27.2. Uh, they're both set up to bring in 720p video, uh, standard settings, VP8, codec. Um, cool. Now I have a program called Clumsy. Uh, I don't have a window capture of it, but not an issue. I'm going to just say UDP packets, all lag, lag, thrall, duplicate, out of order, and tamper. So I'm just going to take a big whack at my internet connection. 
Okay, and we'll see what happens. Okay. So 27.1.3 is glitching. We're getting the rainbow puke. We're having stutter. It's delayed. But now, you know, the rainbow puke is there and uh, it clears up when there's a keyframe. I also tell it uh, to issue keyframes whenever I detect packet loss, but I, I can only do that at most every three seconds or every two seconds or so. So that rainbow puke, although I do have systems in place in Video Ninja to try to detect it and fix it, um, it shouldn't be happening at all. And sometimes my, my, um, sometimes packet loss sneaks by that I didn't really detect. And then it can go on for a minute at a time. Um, all that code is hopefully going to be completely redundant and useless and I'll strip it out. Uh, in, well, very shortly, I, I'd imagine I, I won't need it anymore for OBS updates. So that, that's going to be exciting news. But we can see just even the latency. Oh, ah. <laughs> okay, the old one is now slightly faster ahead. Um, that's, that's... The important thing uh, to note is that the beta version, despite heavy packet loss, is not glitching. Uh, let me see if I can even, even increase the packet loss some more. So I have it at 10% packet loss. So just, yeah, to give you an idea, this is 10% packet loss. Uh, if you do the speed test at video.ninja slash speed test, you'll see a packet loss. Um, anything higher than 1% to 3%, generally I would say is not usable. And you can kind of see what I mean by that. Uh, high latency, choppy, really low quality. Uh, it kind of looks like a Zoom call. Okay. Um, I'm going to now increase the dropped. I'm going to stop it and see what happens actually if I just stop the packet loss. How long it takes for these to recover. Okay. So without packet loss, things are very fast. Things caught back up. Good. I'm going to increase the packet loss to 20%, which is uh, really high. And I'm also going to increase the delay to 150 milliseconds. So this is like going cross country on Wi-Fi or cross world on Wi-Fi. Oh, there we go. We got glitching on the old one. The new one, despite 20% packet loss and a, and a 150 millisecond delay buffer, not, not a buffer, just 150 seconds lag. Uh, had packet loss, and we saw that as rainbow puke. And the system solved it, got rid of it, but um, okay, anyways, I'm going to stop uh, the packet loss again. Um, the old one does seem to work better at just taking data and putting it on screen. And the older or the newer version of Chromium, the newer version of OBS Studio, seems to be uh, buffering more, waiting longer. Uh, well, who knows? They both are kind of acting different. Who knows? Maybe that is just... Uh, coincidence but you know what's really important is that this issue is fixed okay guys so let's stop so i stopped the packet loss and we'll see how long this lasts so video ninja does not detect any packet loss at the moment so it's not able to fix the issue by issuing a new keyframe uh if i go into video ninja though and i open up the stats 
in, in the top corner here, there's a uh, send keyframe. If I press that, it clears it up instantaneously. Right? Um, you can set an interval to say send a keyframe every three seconds with Video Ninja. By doing that, you use up more um, more bandwidth. Uh, keyframes are not very efficient, so you don't want to send them too often. Uh, but there is that option if you want to send keyframes every sort of interval. There's also this button for the sender or the director has the ability to remotely do it. Uh, that's, that's, anyways, uh, that's all I really wanted to show in this demo. Um, I'm really excited by this. Uh, hopefully I didn't, okay, yeah. Um, what else is there? Version 95 also has, uh, well, a lot of cool functionality. It has things like web transport, web codexes. It will allow me to do the next generation of Video Ninja. So even more control over uh, video. Uh, it will let me do things like transparent video. It will let me do uh, you know, perhaps multi-channel audio. So instead of two channel, I can do five channel, things like that. Um, green screens will finally work with an OBS studio uh, via the browser. So instead of the green screen just being on the sender side, you can also perhaps now apply it on the receiving side. Uh, there's a new codec called AV1 that was introduced, I think, with Chromium 90. So that's available. That's a very efficient codec. So if you don't have much bandwidth, you can use this new codec and get better video quality with not having much bandwidth. So there, there's, there's a, a ton of new features, guys. Version 27.2 of OBS Studio. It is a game changer for Video Ninja development. Super excited, super grateful to the OBS uh, Studio developers who made the effort to make it work. I realize it was extremely hard. Um, so I'm grateful there. No more Rainbow Puke, guys. Yes. Okay. Bye, guys.